Weapons are hard. Hi everybody, this is my stream. Let's play. Sweet, to the point. I try. I made a new little gardening station since last time uh, we streamed. We've got my pot full of beets here and our uh, silk touch golden hoe for only the finest veggies. And got one of these nice uh, foodie paintings up. It's one of the new ones, I think. So. I love that painting. Yeah. miles to get some powdered snow for my drop shoot, but it's all there. And now we just go around and around in circles forever and a day. This is tall. when I wasn't paying attention. I know, it sneaks up on you. Totally. Part of me is annoyed that I built this up against the, into the mountain because like a whole chunk of like the really cool texturing I did is going to be like hidden from the outside, but you still see it on the inside, but I'm like, yeah, but you know, like it's going to be like just full of farms. So it's not really <laughs> like, Ooh, this is a thing to sit and look at. I was 
going to be making my farms more aesthetically pleasing in general this season. So that's part of it. Haha. <laughs> Look at this beautiful kitchen floor. Uh, you did something to your floor, did you? Yeah, let me know what you think. I kind of like, like it's kind of some kind of weird old carpet or possibly linoleum tile kind of thing. Ooh, linoleum? How did you make linoleum? I can't see in the little thingy, my little picture in picture that's on my even yeah. tinier picture phone. Color wise, it goes with the diorite counter. I don't know. Jerry's out still. Let's see what else we want to do. Bombs of crafting tables look an awful lot like oaks, oak uh, planks, don't they? They're pretty near identical, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Because that's like I've got like a handful of spots where the ceiling on the box floor is actually ah. Okay, that's that. I think we need to checkerboard it. Like leave that, but put something else like that's just black, but or black with white spots. Do we have anything that's black with white spots? But it is checkerboarded. Yeah, I know. I see that you've got it flipping, but I mean, like, literally, like... Mm. Mm. I tried it with stripped first, and it was too light. It made it look higher, but this if this looks higher, that makes sense. Or I could also just go through and throw in some stripped something darker to look like it's worn down. Mm, yeah, like stripped oak would probably look good. Yeah, well that's what I did out here. Yeah, I used stripped oak in that's, the barn too. That's that's what this is out here, just to look yeah. scuffed down. Just because I didn't want to put carpet where they were eating, and I didn't want to put carpet in the food preparation. No, but you put it, like, you scuffed it down in like the high traffic areas too. That's yeah. like really cool. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. So, yeah, so maybe I'll just do that here then. Okay. I just kind of like the way this looked, but it does I'm not it sure it goes with everything else. This yeah, looks to me like a furry carpet. It does kind of. Hello, Tylerist2013. Yeah, it's a little too loud. I mean, busy. Yeah. Bright. Yeah, it kind of dominates the uh, the area. Yeah. But uh, if we need a furry carpet anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to have to move one of these armor stands one more time because oh, I can't put down anywhere. yeah, the one holding the uh, bottle of enchanting over here. So that's okay. Uh. No biggie. I just got to go find my oak log. My trapdoors are slowly oxidizing. Slowly, slowly. There's a few greeny looking ones in there. We'll yeah, I noticed they were. So I wasn't really paying attention. What are you doing today, Alien? I'm building the flower tower, at least getting a start. I don't think I'm going to get, like, even close to finished on it in one stream session, but... Because it be tall. Indeed. And that's going where you dug out the square mountainside thing, right? Yeah. Nice. I gotta go steal more uh, oak logs. I used them all up before. And then once the whole building is built and decorated, I get to put the farms in, which is even more exciting. I know that's your favorite part, right? I know. I've already got like a bunch of ideas. I talked about this already to you guys, but not to stream. But I've already got a whole bunch of ideas for um, other buildings and farms I want to put in too. I just got one. Actually, I had to go get um, powdered snow for my drop shoot thing there. I, was, I said earlier, um, I was thinking, I, while picking up the powdered snow, I also grabbed enough snow to like make. Oh, that's not good. 
enough snow to make a couple of snow golems so I could make a snow farm. But I'm like, what kind of building would I put? Because I'm kind of trying to make the buildings themed about what the farm is inside of them. There's flower farms and the flower buildings. And I'm like, what kind of building that would be kind of like a funky, like solar slash cyber slash steam slash chaos punk building would a snow golem live in? So after we were talking about that, I googled it. There is a game called Frostpunk. Really? Yeah, I didn't get much of a chance to look into what kinds of buildings they had in it, but I thought that might provide some kind of idea. I'll have to look into that. Indeed. Ooh, I like this roadway. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been playing around with um, road ideas for my city, and this is what I've come up with so far. I'm so glad we can do um, tough slabs and stairs now. Because I love using tough as like a little intermediary block thing. Totally. But there's also there's tough bricks, stone bricks, and then cobblestone to give it a little bit of corn and the and I really like the texture of andesite. Um, I am using a 32x pack, um, classic faithful. So my andesite actually has like more detail than most people, but even so, I even without like the 32x pack, I still really like the texture of andesite, so, and I don't get to use it nearly as enough, I say, as I have andesite in my hand right now, because I'm using it in my hand here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the super smelter. Yeah, the super smelter. Because I want more bricks. Another farm I need to make. I need to make the, the um, clay farm. I have the mud farm made, but no clay farm yet. Oh, this is so fast. Yay. That, Thank that you. is pretty much finished with the super yeah. smelter, I think. Yeah, the super smelter is pretty done there, yeah. Awesome. It's fully functional, and uh, I think it's pretty well decorated and all. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Okay, so these two windows that are like closest to the mountain are not going to be made, and I don't think I'm putting in this Ooh. window either. It's a road bit. Yeah, that's the bit of road. I like it. Yay. But I'm going to wait until at least this chunk of wall is built to fill the texturing back in. Just so I can like see the pattern I was going for.
Like it as of what, like how you were doing so far. I'm not sure if it really needs much of an improvement. Yeah, I just yeah. added a couple of things. Like, I don't know. What do you think? Here I come. Wahoo! That would be totally sweet. I like it too. I like it. Oh, this one is off the time a little bit. Oh, yeah. See, that one's going. I like yeah, it. this looks awesome. I love it. This is totally cool. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a building stream. Hello, llamas. I have to remember off stream to go find that spot where you can poke a hole in the roof so that we can get to go on a fortress. And we can do a nice little adventure stream of us taking on that fortress. Totally. And then I have to decide if I, I want to build a blaze farm. And I know we found a couple farmable, um, a couple blaze spawners in the first fortress, and I'm I have to decide do I want to put the blaze farm there, or do I want to put it in the new fortress? And I think I might put the blaze farm in the new fortress, and have us just get to it via the hole too, because I think getting to the new fortress via the roof will be a lot easier than getting to the old fortress via the, <laughs> via the nether. Mm, that makes sense. Windows kind of interrupted a little bit and break it up so it's a little hard to see. But I think it came out pretty okay. Thomas, when he saw it, said it was really mossy, like, just, like it was moss, which is kind of cool. Moss is awesome.
I love the sound of walking around the grapes too. It's really cool. The copper is just altogether awesome. poke it back out when I come go to do it. Let's see. Windows it's filled in. And yeah, that window was not meant to be filled in. Okay, I'll have to poke that window back out. So this window does get filled in though. Is the barn full of sheep? Is what? Is the barn full of sheep? Yes. Excellent.
I just love the different wood versions of the beehives that we get with um, friends and foes too. I think they really add a little bit and they look really cool. Anyway, just saying. Yay, I don't think I've actually leaked to them yet, but they sound cool. I have a couple that I'm using in my build to give it a little extra bit of life. Nice.
whole bunch of other reviews and stuff about that. Okay. First thing I thought, all these potatoes were a field of golden carrots, and I was like, wow. That would have been cool. Wow, that must have taken forever to armor stand. What? The field of golden carrots. Dedicated to the detail, not that dedicated. Last track of what I was doing, chat. Sorry. I needed light blue again. The sheep say hi, by the way.
easier when I have like the entire schematic of the map just to block from the schematic. Oh my goodness. Let's do that, shall we? That was really one of the nicest things about like Magic is that you can just pick blocks straight from the schematic. Work on all blocks for most of them. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Tyler. This. 2013, welcome. How are you doing today? I am building the flower tower, as I like to call it. It is going to be a very tall building. Um, almost tall enough to put my banners up here. Um, to house my flower farms. I'm just putting windows on the bottom level so that they look nicer while I do the rest of the builds too. Oh, I'm out of things. Okay. I don't know what that is, but that's weird and unwelcome. The only game you play before a whole bunch of random thingies. Um, that seems a little sus. What's with the random? I don't even know. But yes, this is the only game I play. Also, please say that you have read the. Just kind of bringing that up because I've had a continuous problem with it. Did you read the rules of my chat before you joined? If you did, what were they? Ooh, it's a quiz. I like quizzing people. Gotta stretch your brains. Should be an easy quiz. But we'll see. A lot of people tend to have difficulty. <laughs> Don't speak gibberish. <laughs> that was not actually on the rules, but I did say to try to keep it in English. We were close, but that's not the only rule I'm asking about. I haven't broken it yet, but I'm just making sure that you know it so that you don't break it. because I don't like dealing with that kind of stuff. It's annoying. This is my stream and I am the supreme dictator and ruler of all. And what I say goes. Yeah, 
you really popped up when you first tried to type in chat. What color is that? Ah! Fall down. Why do I keep falling down? Gravity. Why does Minecraft have gravity? Pink tulip. I don't have the pink tulips on me. I mean, I have pink Got to go. Bye. Alrighty. See ya. Beautiful. I need to go make more spruce fences because I meant to do that but then didn't actually do it because why would I want to do that? Let me toss everything back here. Oh, it's because I needed to chop spruce. That's why I didn't do it. Bah. All right, guess we're chopping some spruce. Uh, funny thing. Are you chopping some spruce? Yes, actually. Chop it as spruce and. If it helps any, I'm not chopping spruce. <laughs> I'm staring in awe at my cool kitchen banners. Oh, you made banners out. You keep teasing me all these really cool things you're doing, and I want to go run and look right away, mm -hmm. but I should save it till the end of the stream so I can see it all in its completion. Yeah, that's fine. Cats go meow. I suppose I can come over here and check on my... I love it because to do render distances, the, the neon to go and XP to go, to go looks like it's like actually flickering on and off as I get closer to it and farther away. Ooh, sweet. Uh, it's really cool. Ooh. I don't know why, but I'm far too amused by that. I oh, even chop a yes spruce now. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by neon to goes. <laughs> it's alright. We're going to make a mega spruce. Up, up and away. I just love the way your your um, house looks up there on top of the hill. <laughs> Yay! House on top of the hill win.
Discord um, has an option that if you're running your own Discord, you can set up a list of rules, and it has an option that you, have to, that you um, don't get permissions to chat in any of the channels on your Discord until you reply in a certain way to the rules, mm -hmm. indicating that you have read them and understand them and agree to abide by them. And I'm like, you should do something like that. Because right now you can post rules, but it's just, it's a pop-up that happens, and then you can still chat whether you agree or not. Hmm, true, true. Apparently I only set it to like 10 minutes instead of an hour. I must have misclicked the thing where it didn't save. But that's okay. Yeah, well, that's what Platty has hers are set at too. Is you have to be a follower for at least an hour before you can chat. Yeah, it seems to work very nicely. Yeah. than I really need, but if I'm just chopping spruce, I might as well chop a whole bunch at once. I think this kitchen is finished. Huzzah. Yeah. I'm very pleased with this. I've really enjoyed seeing your, your build come together. It's been really cool. Thanks. Now there's plenty of spruce if it's not. Okay. Age faster! Are you shaking your fist at the copper doors? Yes, I am. Holy crap. Okay, wait. No, I do. Okay. Those and those. I actually don't need that many, I don't think. Um. Where's the other things go? Over here.
the lanterns? There they are. I built this window, but I forgot to build this window because I said I needed to punch it back out again and then I did, didn't. Go punch it out, yeah. I love the walking and grates noise. <laughs> you had mentioned that once before. It is an awesome noise, isn't it? Yeah, like a lot of the, like, I think we've said this before, but I really like most of the new sounds. Some of them not so much, but a lot of them are really, really good. All of the windows will have copper grates in them, but, and I think that really helps it all blend in and look good together, but not yet because <laughs> my grades are taking forever to age. Aww. My bloody pal. Jeez, who else fed Sunny today? Um, Tyler guy did right before he left. Oh, that was nice. I know, it's like he fed Sunny, so he can't be too terrible. Oh no, my bloody pal guy is. The um claret, he probably wandered off and got lost again. Motherfucker! Watch the language, please, Thomas. The clerics have a tendency to wander off for some reason. I am burning more powers right now. This is just... Ah. I don't blame how the guy is. Sonny two clerics is high bullets and one is useless and the other is novice. Here, I'll come down and help search I'll come please. and find him. Still looking for a guy who sells pearls, right? Yeah, I don't blame now where he is. Where does he usually hang out? He's a bloody, like, pirate. Oh wait, is that him? Oh yeah, he's over here. Is this being like sneaky? Uh, well that makes sense. He's probably under <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not like this can actually kind of like trading thing again. <laughs> Lock the clerics into their church. <laughs> well, the cleric house. <laughs> oh, there's two clerics in the church. <laughs> Thomas says the
Tyler is is sick. He came back and has redeemed the first redeem. <laughs> a little delayed. I love it when people do that though. It's like people realize that it's there and I'm like, oh yeah, first. I had to do my traditional feeding of Sunny too. Sunny needs all the food. Sunny's a good Sunny's going to be a big kitty. <laughs> Maybe I should have renamed him Bustopher Jones. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yay, Fifth. Well, you're still technically the first to grab first, so I mean... <laughs> Working in the basement, Mama? Yeah. Cool. Indecision. Did you need under pearls for down there or were you just restocking? No, I just restocking. Okay. Hmm. I'll put in another layer then go to the floor. The cheeseburger with pineapple is stuffed my toe. Yeah, that's yep. What? No. Yep, that com made complete sense. Uh huh. Are you having a stroke there, Tyler? Yeah, I, I Tyler might be having a stroke. My favorite chest, by the way, is the shroom blocks chest. It's completely empty right now. I know. Yeah, but it's there because we know we're gonna have a whole chest full of shroom blocks. Well, I can decide what where to put the two blocks with, so it's just a small, it's a single chest, not a double. So, it's just, you know. And I, I, I could only fit a single chest in that spot. So I was like, well, what do we not usually end up with a lot of, but it's not like it fits with all the other stuff we usually put in stuff. And stuff. And stuff. And stuff, and stuff, and stuff. bed. I'm good at this. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> Professional Minecrafter here. Oh, yeah.
Oh, you ever get a tree that's so weird you'd hate to cut it down? But it's in your tree form. <laughs> like, look at this tree. Oh. It's it's like twins. Are you over in the puzzle patch? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it from here. Wow. Oh, Freaky. that is pretty. I can see a tiny one. Yeah. Very nice. I see a tiny one in your tiny tree. Yeah. Sorry, gotta cut you down, tree. Can't live here forever. Sorry. Cheap shears. Do you want to borrow? Hang on, my tree. I'll be back. Do you want to borrow my silk touch hoe? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm, gonna get into the I'm already up to like two stacks of leaf blocks. So I don't need that anymore. I'm just gonna finish off this tree. So. Thank you, though. Eventually, like a silk touch hoe, please. Silk touch is the first hoe I made. I just gotta have silk touch. I didn't get to pick my hoe. I had to take the hoe that was coming to me. Here's gonna break too. Everyone get ready. <laughs> That's over four stacks of leaves, so I guess I probably can. Builds character. It's very dark out there. Yeah. Looks like in real life. Right? <laughs> it's very, very dark in the too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Light rubber band there.
mini cherry leaves. Ooh, that's fancy. Right? <laughs> Ready for silk touch pickaxe. Silk touch Yeah, for when you place leaves and you want to pick them up again, but. almost the end of stream time. It's like 10 after and I've literally achieved a third of my build. <laughs> I think it's going to take three streams for me to finish. Place your bets now. How many times in today's stream will Platy walk backwards off the cliff? We're up to two and counting.
faster to just do the outside of the gooey bits mm -hmm. as I do the Oh, hello. I just fed a bee some cherry leaves. Oh, that's cute. I didn't know you could use cherry leaves to feed bees. I didn't know either, but he was following me around. So I'm like, here, do you want some? And he's like, yeah. Nom nom. I totally did not put it in. I say I totally did not make enough fancy bits, but I did. I just them apparently. So, so here's what I want. I want vines that you can snip the ends, like regular vines that you can snip the ends. You know, like the way you can with every new vine? Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do that for the old vines. Oh well, Jesus, that quarter after, guys. Yeah, I know, right? We should start thinking about rounding up. I did some uh, preservation. Cool. Let me put away this stuff now. We'll come and see. to the basement first. Well, I think I did like all of the sleeping this episode. No, I'll check your chat. Did you, did you get a sleep in? Yep, I see two oh. before we were scrolling up. No, three. I see three oh, before we were scrolling did. up. 
You did. You actually did quite a bit of sleeping, all right. I just so actually there. did a lot of sleeping too myself. Yeah, you did more than your usual share, that's for sure. Well, I actually had like a bed nearby-ish to where I was building to, and it wasn't that much of a pain to just bop into it. All right, let's see what Thomas is... Whoa, hey! Stop. Ooh, I like Hold the on. texture of the carpet and the layers. <laughs> Whoa, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, also, this is the Palmer that I've been on. I've been thinking about that too, so. Oh, I like that. That's nice little in internal detail. I like that yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure if it works. It's, 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 it's a bit. I like it. It's a bit hot. It feels like it's too small in here for it. Like, you need a bigger place to showcase that kind of thing. But I also like it. It's still really cool looking, so... Yeah, I am, but I'm still uh, on the I'm on the edge of the Yeah, I'm on the edge of the Yeah, I like the paintings. Small paintings, but... Like, nice. Oh, yes, yes. I put this painting up in the kitchen up in the chateau today. Yay. Yeah, I like the new paintings, like yeah, the in new the villagers. Are, like, really nice. I mean, the old ones are nice too, but, oh, yeah. uh, but it's good to see the new ones. Well, most of the new paintings are by the old artists, so they all fit really yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it in this room too. I think there's more I like them. of the wall to showcase it, so it looks more together. I like it in both rooms because we're in a basement and I think it makes extra sense for it to be... Yeah, like supports for the walls yeah. and the ceiling kind of thing, definitely. Yeah, because there's extra house above you when you're in the basement. Yeah, I think so it's just... Yeah, I'm, I like it in the dining room. I'm a little bit about the entry room. Um, I split up the bedroom world and then this bit, I'm kind of unsure about this bit. Nice, this nice. is one of the new paintings and it's huge and I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. Whoa, it's that very is cool. And then totally. Some more bed stuff. More bed stuff. Oh, you separate beds. I love the beds. Separate, separate bedrooms, yeah. yes. And uh, I'm not sure about it there, but like, I like here this. it looks really nice. This well. does look really yeah. nice. This is nice. So many skull paintings. Such cheery servants. I know. I think I'm this is okay. I'm about it. About it. It's because it's so small. I think you have, like, the support stairs are really close in here because you didn't have a lot of room for them, which is understandable. Maybe putting them in this... Yeah, that's... that's. I think that's a little better. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I like the separating out of the, be the bedrooms, too. That's cool. Totally. Nice, nice. It's always the like a layer of bathroom. It's really nice. Though. Yeah, no, but it looks good though. Yeah, this is looking awesome down here. I I feel weird that the room full of alcoholic casks is only accessible like via the bedroom area. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. That is a little weird. I'm not, I'm not sure about like adding doorways elsewhere or not. Maybe like a secret doorway in through the bedrooms and then, then like into the, like, the entryway like right here or something. Yeah, but why is like a painting? No, I said right here, like next to the painting. No, the paintings are both sides. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. I didn't There's like barely yeah. any room for anything. Right I think now. this is fine. Besides, most of the beds are over here. Well, I didn't know if Thomas just wasn't done putting beds in. And yet. to be honest, like this bit here can just be an entirely different room. Yeah. Like, True. Also, like an old artifact type of room, like putting that in stone. Because you're talking about the entrance room is too, really. Yeah. The random shag carpet, a bunch of tables. I'm loving the whole basement development down here. This is really cool. I know. I really like it, too. I can't wait to see what Thomas does upstairs, which is what he was originally supposed to be doing oh. in the first place. Hey, there's no rush. No, there isn't. I'm, I'm Besides, it's silly. nice to be able to run around upstairs 
undefeated. Yeah. Whoops. I found that has a little bit more on the end Do you think it's better? Yeah, I think it's fine. I just felt like the stairs like more so that the further it's by the happy end the engine. Do you think it's good? Yeah, it's it looks good. I like it. Did you add them in here too? I mean add them in the kitchen, yeah. Okay. I love this kitchen though. Yeah, yeah, the kitchen the also is awesome. Bit, though, because that's my original vision. Like, but I have a feeling you should probably add them to like some of the. Yeah, but well, I don't want to get in the way of you being like having your wall decorations either. And it does make sense to have it mostly on just the stone because those stone are the stone is, is heavy. the exterior. Yeah, it's probably just going to mostly on the stone. Yeah. And stone yeah. is also heavier. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. I love it. I love everything. Now Platy has to go show show us what she's been doing. Oh, okay. Up the hill. Meet you up there. Yeah, we have to actually go up the hill, but that's okay because I like using the elevator. I can't always see the freaking doors. <laughs> I overshot the elevator. I love it because it just like yeets you right up there too. Yeah, the elevator is super cool. If you can aim, which apparently I can't. Woohoo! Llama got higher than you. No. <laughs> uh, so I added in a little shrubbery here. Oh, those are cute! I love them! Hee <laughs> hee. That's very nice. They look like little orange trees, don't they? Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah, like I was originally, I think I mentioned I was originally going to do glowberry vein, uh, vines down the side of the house, but it doesn't work with the way I built the roof, so. No. So I gave up. Uh, I so. But I worked the glowberries in anyway. You can come in this way. It's okay. Oh, uh, I also added just a little bit out here. Just a few bushes. Bushes. I like it. It fits in because everything is all cherry biome, so it looks nice. Exactly. And then most of the work was in the kitchen, of course. Kitchen work. <coughs> Hello, Tyler. Welcome back. We're just doing the pre-ending, looking at what everybody's accomplished for the day. Oh, I like... Ah! I like the banners. Those are cute. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I was staring at this wall for a while, and I was like, oh, I wish Minecraft had something flat you could just slap on the wall because there's not a lot of space here. And then I was like, oh, wait, there is something. Banners! <laughs> this is awesome. This is an awesome little space. Thank You're you, really dude. Cool. Yay. Oh, and over here above the door, I have storage for storage uh, pumpkins. Melons. Yeah. Yeah. They actually, like, it took me a second. I was like, what kind of things are those? Is that those are like orange cabinets. Orange, orange cabinets, <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured it's, it's melons and they're held up there by the, the wood uh, across them here. They're, like, strapped into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> they're strapped in, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, and I totally stole these banner patterns, except I made them all light blue background. And this was originally a carrot, and I made it a golden carrot, so... I like it. Golden carrots are very good. Yeah. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I like it. That's awesome. Yeah. What, you can come look at my one third of a build. Yeah, totally. It's actually it's probably a little easy to just go along the top here. Ow. Until you fall. Oh yeah. Try not to fall. <laughs> look who's talking. I know. I spend a lot of time falling. Somewhere over here, I assume. My tower of um, trap doors looks kind of cool from back here. It does. I'm gonna have to do something with that, like on purpose. Yeah, like, like one of my thumbnails is just me looking at your trap door tower, and uh, <laughs> I was like, I would click on that. I'm leaving it. I, I think it's got like zero views, but. <laughs> Flowers. I, I 
I'm really, I'm really I pleased with the how the the banners actually came out too. Well, I like these boxes. They're really awesome. You like the boxes, yeah? Do you see the the different colored beehives yeah. too? I see them. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Hey, I can actually sell things by double dipping now, like correctly. <laughs> really? On the beehives only for some reason. That's just. Oh, it's that's weird. I don't know why that's weird. Like, look, I, I can sell the beehive. Yep. But only that one beehive. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a chest. Nice. You, you do have to be looking down for the double shift to work, you know, so that is a thing. Oh, and I'm sitting on the grass. Okay, hey, the double shift is working. They hey, must have fixed it in the well, most I'll just sit update. around. So that's that's good to know, though. That 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 is available. That is now. good to know. This is looking awesome here, by the way. I need to put the windows in the 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 um, trap doors and the windows. The windows look so sad without them. Wait, it just looks like it's under construction, which <laughs> it is. You know, which it is. I'm really pleased with it so far. I l I like. I'm like really this is happy pretty with awesome. The grading thing looks funky as heck. Yeah, it's nice. I like I like the grading. I l yeah, I love it. The grading amuses me so much. Plus, it's fun to listen to when you walk on it. Kind of makes it hit and nice to be painting your amethyst. Kind of, yeah. It's got that high pitched tinking noise, yeah. but it's more tink instead of And it's of fun to walk on. Yeah. Nice window boxes. Do we have a uh, glow lichen farm? Yes, we do. It's in the greenhouse. This is a nice big cave. Nice. Because this is this is a water barrel. Light. There's gonna be. Um, um, oh yeah, the uh, the rain down spout down coming down into it. Yeah. A rain right. spout coming down into it, but I just haven't done it yet. Nice. It's kind of a pain. All right. No, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I might try some glow lichen on the side where I was gonna put the. Uh, Glow vines originally, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, the inside is gonna be covered with like splotchy glow lichen too. Nice. I just haven't put it on yet because it's kind of a pain to put it on. So I was gonna save that for last. So how does glow lichen look on these grates? Just out of curiosity. I'm gonna try it on the grates. I have a little spare. Yeah, can you slap one down? We'll, we'll have a look see. Now that I have anything I would do that with, I was just thinking that that color wise, they're really close. So. It just kind of dulls it a little bit. Yeah. If you can barely tell, it might also be because of what I have under the grating too. Because it blends cobble. in with the mossy cobble. Yeah, everything just kind of blends. Which I guess, if you want an unobtrusive, uh, mild lighting source, is good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna head out on now because like. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's pretty much finishing time. That's oh what yeah, we're doing. it is we're like doing five thirty. Finishing yeah. time tours. Um, Tyler had a whole bunch of like you know chatty questions. Sorry about ignoring you there, but we were doing the finishing time tours because it is well finishing time. Yeah. <laughs> Sad but true. Um, so maybe next time you'll get in in time for for us to actually do the chatty bits because chatty bits are cool. But um, for now. Thank you to everybody who stopped by, to all the lurkers and the chatters. Hello, Tyler. Um, <laughs> um, I hope everybody has a great day. And until next time, bye! And likewise, everybody, I'm going to sign off in F4 here. Have a great day. Uh, Feliz Navidad. <laughs>